Advantage White again. One hundred. Picks off a treble, but it's a one treble combo. The most he's going to get is one match dart when he returns to the board. And Luke Humphreys has picked up a couple of trebles. He's down to a better finish. He'll get a match dart. The target is tops. Game One shot. chance to win it, and he takes it. Ian White, what a finish to take out the number three seed, Luke Humphreys, who once again is left on a makeable finish to break the throw. And Ian White does something very, very impressive. But from 5-2 up, it went all the way. Uh, this is the problem. Struggling to find his way through to the treble 18. Oh, that is a beauty of a dart. He could not see a great deal of that, but he's got himself a dart at double 16. 88. Seven darts he's missed in a row at double, Ronnie Hybrex. He will get more here. But he needs to put an end to that run. 79 left, yeah. 96. Does the run come to an end? Last chance. Game Oof. shot. Well, nine consecutive misses at double is finally brought to an end with dart number 10, and it levels the match up at four apiece. 60. May well be. 130 is makeable. Oh, it's three treble 19s in a row for running high breaks. Oh, Game and it's shot. a beautiful four perfect darts to end that leg. 17 data, we're going the distance like it always does. Why didn't we just go five all at the start of this game? We knew it was going to end up like this. 80. Dodgy at times, but Ronnie Hybrix to win it gets one dart at tops, and he's going to have to get out of the way of that blocker dart. Game shot. And he oh, manages man. to do it as well. It is a brilliant dart from Ronnie Hybrex to nick it by six legs to five. What a battle. Astonishingly good from Ronnie. Oh, maximum would be lovely in this position. And that's exactly Whoa, what Willie O'Connor has. Leaves himself on double 18. Pin that earlier on to hold his throat. 118. Too many darts going into that one segment for Madders Rasmus when he's thrown at the treble 20. The treble 19 has been brilliant for him in this game. Game shot. But that is 5-3 to Willie O'Connor. He is a leg away. The winner plays either Connor Scott or Simon Whitlock. And Ninety-seven. Tom Forty would leave him on a two data. But he's forced to switch. 96. Well, that gets rid of the three. You have to stay on the 20s, Matters. What are you thinking about? What are you doing? 113. I'm baffling. I suppose 25 would have left 95, and then he could go 70 ball, 20 ball, or 25 ball, uh, 25, 20 ball. But I do not understand it. I understand that to leave double eight. Double four. Usually likes it around this portion of the board. Game and shot. Like that. 15 data. Madders Rasma holds throw and he asks Willie O'Connor, can you do the same? If he does, he wins the game. If not, it's a last leg decider again. Can you find the treble? 
course he can find treble 19 of course he can won't get a go now Madez Razum of all the big checkouts 150 might be the best one for him two treble 19s and his favorite double double 18. this is made for Madez Razma but he cannot produce it 89 pin in the bullseye might he require it at the end of a leg Match start, Willie O'Connor. Madders turns away, Game and he can carry on turning and leave because Madders Rasmi is beaten by six legs to four. Willie O'Connor, 101 average. Very impressive from the Magpie. He hatched without a 180 from one of the players. 92. Two darts perfect, and he wins the match here. 55. None of them found their intended targets. Ooh, surely he stays. Oh, Simon Whitlock, who's been following first 80. darts in the Trouble 20 all game, can't do it there. And it means match darts are on the way for Connor Scott. The target is tops. And the target is hit. And the match. Really, really good performance from Connor Scott to see off the wizard. Only a 95 average for Smudger where he's played well and lost and lost early and you do what you think well that can't continue but you also get concerned that I'm not going to carry on playing as well forever either. from the good patch of form you want to make it count and win your money that's exactly right which one changes first your form or your luck 140 well, you know is battling away in this one I was just about to say, Ronnie Ibrex would love to see his first out going a big treble 20 here, and the second one has followed it. 134. Well, yeah, for me, you have to take out this 102. Ronnie Ibrex there with a great 134 to leave tops. Well, go on in, Whitey. Tops. Stay in the match. 62. Bit of a wild one at double top, and that might be the end of the day for the diamond as the rebel lies up tops himself and hits it it is a 6-1 win for ronnie hybrex who is through to his board final for only the third time this year i believe a 6-1 victory and he's more concerned about that 78 checkout that he miscounted on and you can see from the body language you can see from the way 60. he's throwing his darts yeah the thing about willie o'connor and i liken him to richie Burnett. they're not they're not uh, shy of showing their disdain as to the way their game is going at the minute. Well, Connor Scott entirely <laughs> focused on his own game. He's facing the other way, going for his throwing action. Yeah, doing a Paul Lim in the background. Yeah. He doing? <laughs> is it another attempt at the bullseye? It is for Connor Scott. And he gets yeah, this one right as well. Much. Well, the bullseye played a massive part in that game. Connor Scott survived a dart at it in the opening leg, hit it in leg two to go 2-0 up, and did not look back. He completes a 6-0 rout of Willie O'Connor on the bullseye again, and it will be Ronnie Hybrex versus Connor Scott for a spot in the last 16 today. In this match. 93. Should start down here, really, on the 19th. If it's the 95, it'll leave the 170. One hundred and thirty-three. The winner of this match will be taken on the winner of either Ryan Searle and James Wade. So as much as you battle past this match, ninety-eight. There's another tough match after it, as it is with every single round in these Pro Tour events. Ronnie Hybrex in for a one-three-two. Oof, that was only a smidge away. Forty-five left. Oh, 91. don't miss the big number, Ronnie, which he's done, but he's okay because Connor's way back on 210. 81. 
41 there for Ronnie Hybrex to get through this match. Double 16. Game yes. A nice 6 4 win there for Ronnie Hybrex against young Connor Scott. Three Euro Tour events, seven Pro Tour events. Of which two have come in this very venue? 128. So he certainly knows how to win at this arena, does Joe Cullen. 1 2 1 then for Vladimir Anderson. Well, Favouring a treble there. No, 64 left. 1 3 4 for Joe Cullen. That's a great first dart. Tops. What Game a shot. dart by Joe Cullen. 1 3 4 check out, treble 18, tops, tops. Fantastic stuff. Sort of fella that he wants to limit his opportunities. 58. One hundred. Yeah, good second and third dart. The second was obviously in the treble. Twenty and third was very unlucky to miss. One hundred and twenty. Well, there's a bit of pressure on this eighty-four now. I'd like to clean it up with two darts. Eighteen for Bull. Bullseye then to get his get a leg on the board. Game shot. Yeah, it's great. Nice little eighty-four check out there. Well, when Joe's on song, these are the sort of shots that he likes to take out. Treble 20 then for tops. Oh, we went ball, ball. Cheeky. But 62. I like it. Cover the treble 20. Didn't fancy it. Went for two darts at ball. 74 for Vladimir. Well, leaving his favourable double 18. 56. Ooh, that was a chance. That was an opportunity there. Joe then clean up 58 tops. Tops for a 5-1 lead. Yeah, Game that's a shot. great dart. Great dart. And this is no disrespect to Vladimir whatsoever, but Joe doesn't even seem to have got out of second gear here. One hundred and eight. throwing... He also knows what it takes to get the job done. 33. 65 then for Joe Cullen. Tops for a 6-1 comfortable win. 45. Well, Vladimir, how are you feeling? 145. You've probably done this numerous of times in your life. It's a great first dart. 18s. Tops for a 145. Oh, Vladimir Anderson. Very, very unlucky. Joe Cullen then double 10 to wrap up a very comfortable 6 1 win. Game yeah, shot on the match. Nice 20 check out there from Joe Cullen. Just a smidge over a 92 average there in a very, very comfortable 6 1 win. Over yeah, I suppose that leaves him 25 for double 18 when he returns, if that's the route he wishes to go. 59. Although you go for the 25, Dan, you can't help but look at the bull. Like that. That's well, always the danger. You it's cost a dart, a dart. 57. I think that's poor board management. I think there were other options from Cameron Menzies there. And James Wade, oh, this is tricky. Too tricky in the end for James Wade, which is a reflection of just how difficult it was. Well, this is a big dart down for me. No score. Well, he's let Wadey in. As well as he's been playing Wadey with his tops and tens, tops them for a 3 0 lead for James Wade. Game shot. James Wade is gobbling this game up, and he is doing it playing pretty average stuff. He is averaging in the high 70s, and he's 3-0 up. Cameron Menzies is starting to score like he's been doing all day. That takes him to 2180s for the day, Cameron Menzies. 
140. Now the record we've seen is in the 30s, mid 30s for one of these players' championship events. But yeah, that is number 21, and we're in the quarterfinal stages. That is an illustration of how impressive his scoring has been today. One hundred and five. Oh, dare I ask who holds the record? Uh, Dave Chizzy Chisnell, I believe, Dave holds. Chizzy Chisnell. Double six. Seven. That might be that. A brilliant leg of darts, but he can't complete the twelve data. And James Wade, twenty for tops for five three. Cameron's reaction says he knows it was a massive moment. Four, oh, but maybe not. He lives. He lives in this leg. Game shot. And then the last thing you want is James Wade behind you. Want them 60 because you think if he misses the tops, he's going to hit the 10. Very rarely he misses 81. those numbers. The two standout players today have been Ross Smith and Cameron Menzies, averaging comfortably over a ton for the day. Menzies more than 104 and they are both about to go out by the looks of it. Smith has just been beaten by Callan Rids, who's through to the semis. Rids awaits the winner of this one. 43. And surely, even Cameron Menzies thinks James Wade's going to win this now. Double top for the match to seal it with an 11 darter, and that's Game exactly what he does. James Wade had to survive five darts to go 5-4 down, having raced into a 3-0 lead, and then just... Big fish and the little fish in the old cardboard box situation. 65. He's going to the bullseye there. I don't really think offers him any advantage. Be an advantage for Dave Chisholm to get a dart at bull here. No, double five, in fact. Yeah. 4 1. 12 Game darts, shot. a breaker throw, ton plus checkout. Dave Chisholm, magnificent leg of darts. He continues to average 105, just as he did in the quarterfinals against Cullen. In fact, Cullen's as close to 106. James Wade had raced into a 3-0 lead in the other semi-final. He's now been pegged back to 3-2, and Dave Chisnell is just going into a little zone. 60. attempt to. It's not quite worked out. Twenty-seven. Well, none of that has worked for Dave Cheers, not. Looks like trouble nineteen, double eight for Ryan Joyce after a wayward first dart. He's been let 40. off a little bit here. Dave Chisnell has been averaging over a ton all game, and yet Ryan Joyce is going to be allowed a sixth visit on the bo uh, on this leg to hold Eight. his throat. Ninety-nine. Game Ooh, just in the corner. Need a double take there just to make sure it was there. But a sixteen data is enough to hold throw for Ryan Joyce. He doubles his leg tally, but Dave, that he's just 100. trying to change his rhythm up, change his tempo up, just to try and get something going. But it, it does look like he's just 95. throwing it away. Double 18. I Game mean, ultimately, shot. it doesn't matter how fast or slow you throw. If Dave Chisnell is going to chuck in 12 darters on his own darts, you've got in front after being 3 0 down to James Wade in the other semi final. 57, yeah. 's would be the sensible play for Dave Chisnell here. He does have to ask a lot nowadays. His eyesight is deteriorating. He can't see anything, basically. Oh, he can't see anything. He's just smashed in a 164 setup shot. Ridiculous. This man is a genius. This man is a darting phenomenon. This man could be a major champion come the end of the year. Could be a major champion come the end of the next few weeks. The World Grand Prix is coming up. He's a two-time finalist.
I think the bullseye is a sensible dart here. And back to the yeah. treble 17. Yeah, you still can't see where it lands. He's still hitting it. Oh. 118. 164, 118. Back to back to leave himself on 24 for the match. 134. Ryan Joyce just has not had an answer to Dave Chisnell this afternoon. It's an excellent day for Ryan Joyce. More ranking money. But it might be more titles for Dave Chisnell today. Because Game that completes the, the victory. A 7-2 win. It is his biggest winning margin of the day, and there have been plenty of them. It's another ton-plus average, 103 in the end from Dave Chisnell.